Non nemotic anti shock garment is an effective non surgical low technology first aid device used to treat hypovolemic shock and to reduce maternal mortality rate. It is low cost device that limits persistent postpartum hemorrhage. How was it designed originally? It's a compression suit originally designed with technology from United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA. At NASA, anti gravity uniforms were developed to keep astronauts from blacking out during extreme acceleration by squeezing the arms and legs to push blood towards the head. This same technology of NASA anti-gravity garment was used to develop an ASG where external pressure is applied to a woman's lower body to drive blood upward. The NASG reduces blood flow to the uterus and treats hypovolemic shock. NASG can keep a woman with PPH alive for up to 48 hours. Without it, she may bleed out within 30 minutes. NASG buys critical time to transfer a patient to healthcare and provide treatment. It is also lightweight, washable, and can be reused for up to 144 times. A large evidence based study indicates that NASG is effective in reducing maternal mortality. The WHO recommends it as a temporary measure until appropriate care is available, and that was in 2012 recommendation. NASG is included in the WHO, UNICEF and United Nations Population Fund UNFPA interagency list of medical devices for essential interventions for reproductive maternal newborn and child health 2015 recommendation. Although there are some countries that have successfully scaled NASG, UNICEF estimates that global demand is much higher given that 5% of all women giving birth suffer from PPH. This is why UNICEF has added to its portfolio of innovation projects to use its know-how capacity in scaling proven technologies to ensure a fit-for-purpose and value-for-money product is available and accessible worldwide. The NASG has been used by UNICEF, UNFPA, NGOs and governments, saving thousands of mothers' lives. It costs as little as $0.5 to save a life with NASG. UNICEF has added the NASG to its supply catalog and is providing technical guidance and support for its distribution and implementation. With UNICEF expertise in scaling proven technologies, NASG can reach more mothers, ensuring future PPH deaths are prevented. The mechanism of actions of NASG are based upon the laws of the physics. Recent research has identified that the pressure applied by NASG serves to significantly increase the resistive index of internal iliac artery. Another recent study has shown that NASG decreases blood flow in the distal aorta. So this NASG, the non pneumotic anti-shock garment, is light, flexible and comfortable for the wearer. It has been designed to allow perineal access so that examinations and vaginal procedures can be performed without it being removed. Upon application, a patient's vital signs are often quickly restored and consciousness is regained. It is extremely important not to remove the NASG before a woman receives IV fluid bloods and before all vital signs are restored. So, it's very important to know that early removal can be dangerous and even fatal. No doubt, NASG is a cost-effective method of managing PPH. The NASG, when used as a temporizing measure to recover hemodynamic stability in the context of PPH, decreases, uh, decreases morbidity and mortality and hypovolemic shock. This is PPH bundle approach and when we look at the second bundle refractory PPH approach, we find out that there is a specific 
part of NASG anti-shock garment. Thank you so much. That was a little bit about NASG. Subscribe on Ops and Gaini. Allah Hafiz.